So in this video, we're going to focus on like the cushions, like pillow, mattress, and like other cushions. So let's get started with the mattress. I'm going to select the bed frame. And since the origin point is in the middle, I can hold shift S and do cursor to selected. And then if I hit shift A and add a cube, it'll be right in the same place. I'm just going to go to my item and going to set its dimensions. We're going to go with two meters on the X, about one and a half on the Y and about 0.2 meters on the Z. And I'm just going to hit control A and apply that scale. I'm going to drag it up, be a little bit back. That should be pretty good. Next, I'm going to tab into edit mode and add some loops around it. I'm going to start with adding my loops around the Z axis. So I'm going to go and hit control R and I'm going to put two loops here. And I'm going to go and put a bunch here and try to get something that looks like a fairly close to an even square. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Something like that. Right click, shade smooth. And I'm going to hit subdivision surface in my modifiers. I think I'm going to add two levels and then I'm going to go and add a cloth modifier. I'm going to bring the keyframe back to zero so that it's not dropped down because of the gravity. And speaking of gravity, we're going to need some collision. So I'm going to add collision to my bed frame and I'm just going to put the collision above the bevel to get ever so slightly better performance since we don't need the bevel to make a decent collider. In the cloth settings, I'm going to simply enable internal springs and press play and see what happens. I think maybe I could drag it up and give it a little bit more of a drop. And you get some slight little bumps in the mattress. I think I'm going to go and lower the tension to maybe like one or something to try to get a little bit more. There's a little bit more. Maybe I could even go lower like 0.5. Anyway, you get something with a little bit of a surface detail. so. You can use the left and right arrow keys to swap between different keyframes real quickly and compare them. And then I'm just going to apply the modifiers by hitting Control A. And I'll just drop this down a little bit so that it looks like it's actually touching the bed frame. You can save at this point. Now let's add a pillow. I'm just going to add a cube. And this technique you can use for like a square cushion too. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode and scale this down. And go back to object mode and kind of put this into a position where I can get like a reference for the size that I need. Scale it down. Now I'm just going to make this like super, super thin. Like that. Now I think it needs to be a little skinnier that way. Um, something like that works. So I can now add some loops going this way and some going this way. And that looks relatively even. And then I can go and just kind of select this outer boundary with Alt Shift Left Click a bunch of times. Make sure that you have proportional editing off and then scale Z zero and select all merge by distance. So we'll just do the UVs real quick. I'm just going to go and select this corner and hit control shift, click this corner. And I'm going to hit U, unwrap. And then I'll go back to the bottom side as well. And maybe it'd be good to press slash to isolate our view. And we can go and control shift, click that. Hit U, unwrap. And you should have both sides in a rectangle that goes across the whole edge. Now I'm going to unisolate by hitting slash again. 
and I can go and alt click on this to select this loop. Hit X, delete faces. Then I'm going to go to edge mode. Now I can select the whole boundary by holding alt click and doing a double click instead of a normal one. Then I can hold alt shift and click here. I don't think I can select the whole boundary in one click when I already have something selected sadly, but that works for me. Press S Z zero to scale to zero on the Z axis. Then press A to select all. Hit M, merge by distance. And now you should have this and it should be set up with the UVs. Next, add your cloth modifier. Now you don't really want to have gravity on this right now. So go to fuel weights, turn off gravity by bringing that down to zero. And then if you hit play, it won't move at all. Now there's this pressure thing, which you can use to inflate it kind of like a balloon. So let's say maybe put it to five or something. And as you can see, it kind of inflates a bit like a pillow would. So I can right click, hit shade smooth. And you can go ahead and play with the different settings. If I did like one, really not enough. If I did like 50, it's going to inflate really, really quickly. And its wrinkles are going to be lesser because it's more inflated. Kind of like a balloon where the more inflated it is, the more smooth and less wrinkly it'd be. So very little wrinkles if I bring that crazy high. If I had it at like three, big wrinkles. So it's a good idea to look at reference to see if you can figure out how to get it to look similar. So let's just play with the different settings to see if we can get something kind of like that. I think maybe this where I went with 10 and then choose a specific keyframe that looks kind of close might work well. So I'll go ahead and apply this cloth modifier and then I can just kind of use some physics to drop this onto the bed. So I can actually just kind of duplicate this bed and have this one be kind of like just for the collision since the poly count is really high so I can use a decimate and do maybe unsubdivide and every two of these you go, you get basically down a subdivision. It has this weird diagonal thing on odd numbers. So, so I'll set that to four so that I get two subdivisions and apply it. And then I can just add a collision. Now you might want to do something like go to the object and set its display as, as maybe wire or bounds maybe even so that you can tell the difference between these two so you can go and add your cloth and then we're going to use the internal springs again to give it a bit of a soft body type of deal so internal springs press play and it just kind of falls down we're going to need probably less than that since we want to kind of look like it's really integrated into this bed. Maybe even 0.1. To maybe use a specific keyframe here or maybe even go a little bit lower, 0 0.05. Maybe that keyframe or so. So we can just go and apply this. And I'll just press Alt D to duplicate this and maybe rotate it around. And now we got two pillows. And then we'll just drag these back down to look like they're exactly on the bed. Now these pillows have like this kind of a zipper or a seam that kind of just goes around the edge and it kind of sticks out a bit. So let's add that. Now, after the simulation, I ended up with these like really, really sharp points going here. So I'm just going to try to fix that a little bit. Scale XX. 
scale y y. Um, hopefully that's good. And then I'm going to go and alt select this outer loop and hit control B to bevel. Um, guess I didn't quite get it. So you can just kind of move these out since it kind of squeezed together because of that weird thing going on there. And I'll just move that over there. Again, it's perfectly fine to just manually fix some little things. And I'll just drag that. And then I can go ahead and hit Control R to add a center loop here. And I will just scale that out a bit. Scale XX a bit to make it more evenly spaced. And there you have it, you have some pillows. And you can easily create a cushion using the same technique, just having it be more of a square. So you might want to go and position these a bit nicer. So it might be good to press control period and then just move the pivot point into a better position. Or you could do like right click set origin to center of mass or surface. That works too. And just kind of rotate these into a better position. And it might be good to go and use the cloth internal springs on one of these. I may just unlink the mesh data from this other one using the data tab and pressing that too to make it unique. And then you can just go and use the internal springs again. Maybe set it to like, what did we do? 0.5. And then just kind of press play and see if you can get it to move into this position a bit. Now you might just need to go to the mattress's collision shape and increase the friction because it's just sliding like crazy. Let's see if that helps. And then you can just kind of make use of this. Apply that. Duplicate, bring it over here. Maybe move this. Drag these into a bit better position because I didn't adjust the object uh, collision distance. And again, maybe you might want to do that again real quick. Internal springs, 0 0.05. Um, you're gonna need to put collision on one of these. Drop that. And then just apply that real quick. And Alt D to duplicate. Maybe you might rotate them a little bit to give them some slight variations, and you can do the same thing with this cloth, internal springs, maybe 0 0.05. Hopefully it'll work similarly on this one. Oops, any collision on this. I guess I can tick off this one. And then just apply that. And then get rid of the collision on this one as well. I don't know, something like that. And then you can just hit control one to add some subdivision on these to make them look a little bit nicer. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and check the playlist in the description so that you can see the rest of the videos in this series on cloth. Thank you.